Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I just want to say that subtitles are available, so if I misspell or mispronounce a word, make sure you have subtitles, subtitles on just in case. Also, be sure to follow me on my socials, which will be linked in, this, in the description below. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Michael Jackson was known for his prolific songwriting, often creating 30 to 50 tracks per album, though only 10 to 15 would make it to the final release. The unreleased tracks, many of which were set aside due to various reasons like quality concerns or behind-the-scenes conflicts, often remained in the vault. However, these unreleased songs began leaking online in the late 1990s, despite Jackson's reluctance to share unfinished works. After his death in 2009, interest in unreleased un un material surged, with many songs being registered and discussed by collaborators, producers, and relatives of, of the King of Pop. The online leaks continue to this day, notably with the recent incident from, from January 2023, where Brad Sunberg's laptop was stolen with 50 gigabytes of unreleased material being shared on forums, which was referred to by some as one of the wildest music leaks in years. The Michael Jackson estate and Sony Music had capitalized on the unreleased songs as well, having, having released various reissues of Michael Jackson's studio albums, such as special editions and anniversary re-releases, or compilations of strictly previously unreleased tracks, such as the Ultimate Version and the posthumous Michael and Escape albums. Hello everyone, welcome and welcome back to the channel, my name is The Horseman, and in this week's video I will be giving you all a full explanation of every Michael Jackson unreleased song known to man, part one. Before we begin, I just want to share several disclaimers when watching this video. This video will be divided by errors. It, it doesn't mean it doesn't mean some of these songs were made for the album. They they were just made during that era. This video will include tracks that remain unreleased and unheard, tracks that were leaked partially or leaked as snippets, and tracks that have either been leaked in full, leaked in one way, I mean, released in one way or another, or performed live but never had a commercial release. This video will include spoken word pieces, demos. Demos recorded for Michael Jackson and never released collaborations and I won't be playing any snippets or leaks in the video due to copyright reasons Without the way, let's begin. These are every Michael Jackson unreleased songs explained from 1968 to 1982 Now the first three songs on the list were unreleased songs by the Jackson 5 and were discovered through the Michael Jackson for the record book published in 2009. These songs include Seven Rooms of Gloom, A Place in the Sun, and Ain't No Mountain High Enough. According to the book, Seven Rooms of Gloom is a cover of a song by Four Tops, A Place in the Sun is a cover of a song by Stevie Wonder, and Ain't No Mountain High Enough is a cover of a song by Marvin Gaye and Tammy Terrell. No further info about these covers are currently available, but it's likely that these were recorded sometime in the late 60s and early 70s. Buttercup is a previously unreleased song by the Jacksons that was written and produced by Stevie Wonder and recorded in 1974. It was intended for a dance machine, but it didn't make the final cut. The song was released in the, in to, in the 2009 compilation album, I Want You Back, Unreleased Masters. I Can't Get You Off My Mind is an unreleased song by Michael Jackson, possibly intended for his 1971 debut album, Got To Be There. In 2018, a snippet of the song was leaked online. Slip the Way and We Love You were two unreleased songs by the Jacksons intended for the Triumph album. The songs were recorded and registered with the U.S. Copyright Office in 1980, listing Michael and Marlon Jackson as the ones behind Slip the Way. The demo for We Love You leaked online on June 17, 2020. The next three songs on the list were first acknowledged by Michael Jackson himself during a Mexico deposition in November 1993. What's Your Life? The Sky's the Limit, and Thank You for Life. Michael mentioned that he wrote What's, for, What's Your Life with his brother Jermaine, meaning it was probably intended for the Jacksons. No further info on the song or, the, or its history is available, but Jermaine mentioned the song and some of the lyrics in his book, You Are Not Alone. 
Michael confirmed he wrote The Sky's the Limit with one of his brothers, but didn't specify who exactly, nor did he give away any further information. However, this could hint that the track the track was intended for the Jacksons. Thank You For Life was, writ was written solely by Michael, and he claimed the song was worked on between 1973 and 1974. However, the U.S. Copyright Office states that it was recorded and written in 1976. Considering the time period, it could have been intended for the Jacksons or Off the Wall. The rest of the songs on this part of the list were either recorded or written by members of the Jacksons during the victory sessions. The song That Girl, unrelated to Stevie Wonder's song of the same name, was written by all the band members and was registered by the American Society of Composers, Authors, and Publishers, or ASCAP for short. No further info is currently available. In an unknown interview with the brothers from the early 1980s, they mentioned five unreleased songs that were intended for the Victory album. Still In Love With You, Power, Nona, I Am In Love With You, and Bad Company. Still In Love With You was written by Randy Jackson, who also played every instrument and sang lead vocals. Power and Nona were produced and recorded by Jackie Jackson, with Tito playing guitar, Randy on percussions, Jermaine on bass, and all, and all the brothers doing background vocals. When asked about Power's meaning, Jackie stated that it's about people coming together and making the world a better place. The track was later recorded by Greg Philinigan uh, and was released in 1984. According to Jackie, the song Nona was dedicated to one of his favorite actresses, so Sophia Lauren. I'm In Love With You was written, produced, and recorded by Marlon Jackson, who also played keyboard. No further information is currently available. Bad Company was written and produced by Tito Jackson, Wayne Arnold, and Mike McKinney. According to an unknown article, Tito sang lead and Jermaine sang background. Far Far Away is an unreleased song by the Jacksons intended for the Victory album. Michael Jackson himself first acknowledged the song during, during the Mexico deposition in November 1993. The song was written by Michael and someone else, although Michael couldn't recall who it was. Our next batch of unreleased songs were either written or recorded by Michael Jackson and were intended for his fifth studio album, Off the Wall, released on August 10, 1979. A Baby Smiles, also known as Baby Smiles, was written by Michael Jackson in 1979 and was intended for Off the Wall. It's unknown if it was ever recorded. In 1993, Michael Jackson acknowledged the song's existence during the 1993 Mexico deposition. Additionally, he confirmed he wrote it by himself and, and that an alternate title to the song is Baby Smiles. A lyric sheet was later sold along with other Jackson memorabilia in 2006. Going to Rio was written by Michael Jackson and singer Carol Bayer Sager in 1976. When asked about the song in an interview, Carol couldn't recall working on it. No further info on the song or its history is available. Holiday Inn was also written solely by Michael and recorded in 1976. Like Going to Rio, Holiday Inn was possibly intended for either Off the Wall or the Jackson self-titled album released in 19 1976. It is unknown if the song was created for the Jacksons or Off the Wall. Got to Find a Way Somehow is another song intended for the Off the Wall album. The song was registered in the U.S. Copyright Office in 1984, and it states the song was written solely by Michael and recorded it in 1979. In the Life of Chico was also written in 1979 and attended for the Off the Wall album. It is, um, it is unknown that the song was recorded, but lyric sheets were auctioned in 2009, although no one bought them. Iowa was written and recorded by Michael Jackson in 1977 and possibly attended for, uh, for either the Off The Wall album or the Jackson's Destiny album, released in 1978. Judging by the time period, period he could have written it for, for Off The Wall or the Jacksons in mind. The song was confirmed by Janet Jackson in an interview with Q Magazine in 1993. In the interview, Janet stated, quote, Michael has a song called Iowa that he wrote. People will never hear that song. Just before he left to film The Wiz, he put, he put all the songs he had written onto tape in a studio with our parents' house. Not one of them has been heard and those were songs to cry for. These are the things that he has written for orchestras that are classical music, like something by Bach or Beethoven. 
Ode to Sorrow is another song written and recorded by Michael Jackson in 1977 intended for either the Off the Wall album or, or Destiny. Not much is known about the song other than that the song was registered with the U.S. Copyright Office in 1984. Susie is a song written and recorded by Michael Jackson in 1978. If the title sounds familiar, that's because it's the demo version of Little Susie, a track from Michael Jackson's double album, History, Past, Present, and Future Book One. The song references the early 1970s incident with the same story. It didn't cut for Off the Wall, although it was picked up again in 1984 to include it on History. Under Your Skin was written and recorded by Michael Jackson in 1979 during the Off the Wall recording sessions. No one but MJ is credited for the song, and the song was registered with the U.S. Copyright Office in 1984. We Are the Ones is another song written solely by Michael Jackson and recorded in 1978, intended for either the Off the Wall album or Destiny. Considering the time period, it could have been penned for either Off the Wall or Destiny. We're All Alone and What Can I Say were unreleased covers of songs by Boz Skaggs performed by Michael Jackson. It is unknown what project they were intended for, but, Ska but Skaggs confirmed Jackson had covered two of his songs in a 1976 interview with Cream Magazine, the same year Skaggs' original songs were released. In the interview, Skaggs said, quote, Michael Jackson covered a couple of my songs too. What can I say? And we're all alone. It makes me feel fantastic. I think he's the greatest. Our next batch of unreleased songs were either written or recorded for or around the time of Michael Jackson's sixth studio album, Thriller, released on November 30th, 1982. Behind the Mask is a previously unreleased cover of Yellow Magic Orchestra's song of the same name. The song was first recorded by Michael Jackson in 1982 during the Thriller sessions. Although the song didn't make the final cut, it was given to Greg Filligan and Eric Clapton, who included, who included it on their albums. Decades later, after Michael's passing, the song was reworked for the 2010 posthumous album, Michael. Behind the Mask was released as a single on February 21st, 2011, serving as the third single from the album. It featured completely reworked instrumentals done by John McClain, and in this version of the song, verse 2 is replaced by verse 3, and a saxophone solo was included. The demo was released on Thriller 40 in 2022 and was officially dubbed Mike's Mix Demo. Carousel, originally titled Circus Girl, is a previously unreleased song co-written by Michael Sambello and Don Freeman and recorded by Michael Jackson in 1982. The song almost made it to the final cut until it was decided it should be replaced by Human Nature. Carousel was released as a short edit on the Thriller 25th Anniversary album. A few months later, a longer edit was featured on French and Italian editions of the King of Pop compilation album and got re-released on Thriller 40 released in 2022. The full version leaked online around the mid-2000s. This leaked version features an 11 second long intro not present in any of the release incarnations of the song. Additionally, the breakdown is around 10 seconds longer. Dream Away is another unreleased song by Michael Jackson. It is unknown what project it was intended for, but, it's likely, but it was likely recorded one week after Thriller was released. It was intended for the Victory album, but plans were cancelled. The song was written and produced by Steve Porcaro, who previously worked on Human Nature. Similar to Chicago 1945, Porcaro was asked about including the song on Escape, although he didn't approve of it as he didn't support the estate's straight-to-remix approach. On November 15, 2022, a film recording of the song from Pokero's seminars leaked online. Got the Hot was written and produced by Michael Jackson, Quincy Jones, and Rod Temperton. It was originally recorded for Thriller, but like many other tracks, didn't make it to the final cut. After initially getting scrapped, the song was given to Zydia Garrett, who rewrote and, re and renamed the song into Baby's Got It Bad, featured on her album Kiss of Life. In 2008, Got the Hots appeared as a bonus track on, on the Japanese edition of Thriller 25, and has since then appeared on multiple other compilation albums, including Thriller 40 in 2022. Hot Street, originally titled Slapstick, was also attended for the Thriller album. Hot Street was written by Rod Temperton during the Thriller sessions. The 
The song was first titled Slapstick and featured completely different lyrics. Michael loved the song and wanted it, to, and wanted it on, on the record, although Quincy Jones didn't think the so song was strong enough to be included. Michael stated, quote, Yeah, I like Hot Street. I love that one. Quincy and Rod didn't think it was good enough, but I thought it was wonderful. The song leaked online sometime in the 1990s, and another older version under the title Slapstick also leaked on online, although in a much lower quality. I Never Heard, also known as This Is It, was written by Michael Jackson and Paul Anka in 1980. The song was intended for Anka's album Walk a Fine Line, although it got scrapped along with two other collaborations. Jackson once took cassettes of songs from Anka without permission, because of which Paul threatened to sue Michael. When returning the tapes to Anka, Jackson was suggested to make his copy of I Never Heard and retitled the song to This Is It. After Michael's passing in 2009, his brothers found a box with cassettes with a bare bone demo of This Is It, featuring only pianos and vocals. The song was then reworked by John McClain and Mervyn Warren with backing vocals done by the Jacksons. This Is It would go on to be used by Sony to promote Michael Jackson's This Is It documentary and, and included in the This Is It compilation album. It was the first new Michael Jackson song to be included and officially released after his passing. A few years later, Anka did his rework of the song, this time featuring previously unheard vocals from I Never Heard, over an upbeat instrumental. The track would then be featured on his 2013 album, Duets. It Don't Matter To Me is an unreleased demo written by Michael Jackson and Paul Anka in 1980. Not a lot is known about the demo, however, it's most likely Jackson singing over the piano, similar to the other collaborations between the two. In 2018, the song was picked up by BBL Drizzy, I mean Drake, and was, and was released as a posthumous collaboration on his album Scorpion, released on June 29, 2018. Parts of Michael's original demo were featured, mainly the chorus, and his vocals were also noticeably auto-tuned. Don't Matter To Me was met with mixed reactions from the MJ community, the main reason being the auto-tune on Michael's vocals. Even some of the Jackson family members had something to say, with Austin Brown's son of Rebby Jackson saying, quote, I just feel like if he didn't finish it, he shouldn't use it. Love Never Felt So Good is another song written by Paul Anka and recorded by Michael in 1980. Just like the other two, Don't Matter To Me and I Never Heard, this collaboration was going to end up on, 19, on Anka's 1983 album, Walk A Fine Line. Unfortunately, it didn't make the cut and ended up on Johnny Mathis' A Special Part of Me a year later. In 2006, a low-quality version of the demo would leak online. Four years later, the track was brought out of the vault for the Michael album, although it stayed unreleased. In the same year, 2010, a high-quality version of the demo was leaked online. Finally, a reworked version intended for the Michael album would end up on the 2014 Poshmas album, Escape. Besides the solo version, a duet remix between Michael and Justin Timberlake produced by Timbaland and J-Rock was made, which became one of the biggest hits in Jackson's discography. MJ Melody is an unreleased song by Michael Jackson intended for Thriller. The song was created in 1982, and it's unknown if Michael produced the track, despite being credited by him. The melody itself could have been a working title or likely an instrumental. Nightline, also titled Nightline and Nightline, was written by Glenn Ballard, Bree Howard, and David Farragher, and recorded by Michael in 1982 during the Thriller sessions. It didn't make the final cut, and the song was given to the Pointer Sisters, for and their and their and their version was included on their album Breakout, released in 1983. Michael's demo was leaked online in on July 7, 2002. Nymphet Lover is an unreleased song by Michael Jackson intended for Thriller. The song was written and recorded by Michael in 1981 during the Thriller sessions. Only Michael himself is credited for the song and no further info is currently available. Rolling the Dice, also titled Roll the Dice, was written by Rod Temperton and recorded by Michael in a studio at Havenhurst. During the 1993 Mexico deposition, Michael acknowledged the title. The song was intended for the Thriller album, and the track was likely discontinued at the early stages of development. She's Trouble, originally titled Trouble, was written by Bill Livesey, Sue Schifrin, and Terry Britton, and recorded by the King of Pop in 1982. 
Eventually, the song was scrapped and later given to Scott Bio for his album The Boys Are Out Tonight and to Musical Youth for their album Different Style. In 2009, an early demo of the song leaked online, featuring unfinished lyrics and mumbling, letting fans listen to it for the first time. On September 6, 2022, She's Trouble would be announced to be included in Thriller 40. Somewhere in Time is an unreleased song written by Michael Jackson. Little is known about the track, but it, but it, was, but it was written by Michael in 1980 and intended for either Triumph or Thriller. Spice of Life is a song by Manhattan Transfer, released on, in September 1983 on the group's Bodies and Souls album. The track was written by Rod Temperton and Derek Bramble, and was initially intended for Michael Jackson for the Thriller album in mind. According to Bramble, Michael did, Michael did record, it, record his version, however it is currently unreleased. Starlight is an unreleased song that serves as the demo for the title track of the Thriller album. The song was written in early 1982 by Rod Temperton, and the original idea was to write a song befitting Jackson's love of cinema and his, and his evolving persona. Quincy Jones, who produced, the, who produced the song, thought that the song itself would be the album's title track, but that Starlight was a weak title. And the rest is history, as it was reworked and to become not only the title track, but the Halloween anthem we all know and love. The demo was leaked online years before the release of Thriller 25, but was released as part of Thriller 40. Sunset Driver was first written in 1979 for Off the Wall, although it didn't make the cut. The song was then scrapped again when it, when it was finally recorded in 1982 for Thriller. According to the, to the official MichaelJackson.com website, the song was also later considered for the inclusion on the Bad Album. Sunset Driver was released on the Ultimate Collection box set and re-released in 2022 on Thriller 40. The Toy was first written in 1979 for Off the Wall, although it didn't make the final cut. It was then recorded in 1982 for Thriller but shelved again. Quincy Jones came up with the idea for Michael to write a song for the soundtrack to Richard Pryor's movie of the same name. When asked about the song during a different deposition in 1984, Michael himself confirmed the whole idea was scrapped so the two could focus on Thriller, and felt that the song was just as strong, if not stronger, than the tracks on Thriller. It was, um, it was later rewritten and re-recorded re as Best of Joy in April 1991 during the Dangerous Sessions. Michael would, re would return to working on the song in November 2008 and recorded new vocals in a Bel Air hotel bathroom. This version included a new third verse, not featured in the previous versions. This time, behind his production stood Brad Buxer, who, uh, although, although it stayed the same as featured in the toy. After Michael's passing in 2009, the song was completely reworked by Nephew for, for the 2010 Michael album. It featured a new instrumental, but, but kept the 2008 vocals. For unknown reasons, the third verse was cut out as it, as it was previously left left in an unfinished state. On November 19th, 2022, an infamous collector named Korgnex posted a snippet of his mix for the track. This featured a small part of the third unreleased verse from the 2008 version. On January 9th, 2024, Korgnex posted his full mix featuring the entire lost unreleased third verse. Too Bad is an unreleased song by Michael Jackson intended for either the Jackson's Victory album or Thriller. The song was written by Michael and Marlon Jackson in 1982, making it likely that it was intended for the Jacksons. What a Lovely Way to Go is an unreleased song by Michael Jackson that was later released on Thriller 40. According to Michael, the song was written before Off the Wall. It was first recorded sometime in the late 70s during the album's recording sessions under the title What a, what a Lonely Way to Go. It was later revisited for Thriller with the title changed to What a Lovely Way to Go. After Michael's passing in 2010, the song was remixed by Mark Ronson for the Michael album under the title Lovely Way, although it didn't make the final cut. On January 24, 2020, a tagged snippet of the remix leaked online, and on October 6, 2022, What a Lovely Way to Go was revealed to be part of the, of the Thriller 40 tracklist. Who Do You Know is another unreleased song that was later released on Thriller 40. The song was written in 1980 with the production starting two years later in February 1982. The song was meant for the Thriller album, although it didn't make the final cut. 
Michael later acknowledged the title during the 1993 Mexico deposition, although didn't talk about it in depth. On November 10, 2022, my birthday, Who Do You Know was revealed to be included on Thriller 40, which will be released a few, a few days later. Why Can I Be is an unreleased song by Michael Jackson intended for either the Jackson's Triumph album or the Thriller album. The song was written solely by Michael Jackson and recorded in 1980. Although unspecified, considering the time period, the track could have been intended for either the Thriller album or the Jackson's Triumph album. Well, folks, that's the end of part one of every Michael Jackson unreleased song explained. I hope I was able to keep you all informed and entertained. I apologize for the quality of my voice. I was having a hard time recording my script due to my stutter. Regardless of my speech abilities, I really appreciate the love and support on this channel. As promised, I will now give shout outs to those who commented on my last video, normalizing weird Michael Jackson photos. Michael Free. Japo137, Steel Shree79, Franza, Force X Remix, Carly's Artland, Michael Jackson Multiverse, In August, Sunflower2110, Flips4398, Angels with a 300. I will be uploading part 2 next Monday, which will cover unreleased songs that were made between 1983 and 1997. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more, co more content like this. Be sure to ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.